Hi everybody, welcome to GT Coding. In this tutorial series, we are creating this website using Next.js. Now in this video, we will design the sign-in page. So if you go to the sign-in page, this is how it looks. So we will design this in this video. Let's get started. Now to create a new page in Next.js, you can just go over here to the app folder and create a new folder called the page name. So I'll just name it sign-in. And in that you need to create a new file called page.tsx and here let's go ahead and export default function and uh, let's call it sign in and we'll just return a div and let's type sign in and now if you go back to our website and if i go over here to localhost 3001 forward slash sign in now we are taken to the sign in page now let's go ahead and create this sign in page now for all the content inside the sign in page we'll create a component and uh, let's go over here to components and uh, we'll just name the component sign in buttons dot tsx and uh, let's tap export default function sign in buttons and i'll just return a div for now sign in buttons and let's go back to the sign in page and uh, here i'll just return the component so i'll just type sign in buttons and let's import it from components sign in buttons and now if we go back here, we can see we have sign in buttons displayed. Right now, let's go back to the sign in buttons component and let's start styling this. So I'll just turn this div into a React fragment and let's go ahead and start by creating an H1 and uh, let's type sign in. So here we can see we have this H1 and then let's go ahead and create a div for these two buttons. So let's go ahead and create a div and uh, in that We'll create a button now in this button the first thing we need to have is this icon so here i have added some images inside the public folder so here we have github logo and google logo so we'll be using these two images so let's go ahead and create a span and let's create an image tag so let's tap image and let's import it from next image and in this image we need to have the source and let's set the source to github logo dot svg and we need to set the width and the height of the image so let's tap width and let's set the width to 30 and let's set the height to 30 as well and let's also add an alt and let's set the alt to github logo and now if you go back here we can see we have the image right now let's go outside the span and here let's type sign in with github so here we have the text Right now let's go ahead and style all of this so here for the h1 let's tap class name and let's set the text to center and let's set the margin top to 8 and uh, let's add some styles to the h1 so i'll just go to the global.css file and uh, we will add the styles for all the h1 so i'll just tap h1 and uh, let's tap apply and uh, let's set it to text to excel and font bold so now here we have the styling for the h1 right now let's go back and uh, let's go to the sign in buttons component and let's style this container division let's tap class name and let's add a margin top of four let's add a padding of four and let's set the display to flex and flex direction to column and uh, let's tap items center so that it is aligned to the center and justify center to align it both vertically and horizontally and let's add a gap of four right now let's add some styles to the button so here for the button let's tap class name and uh, let's set the display to flex items center and uh, let's add a border and uh, let's add a padding of four and let's set it to rounded full so that it has this rounded shape and let's add a gap of four and when we hover over this we'll just add a little bit of different background color so here we can see we have a hover effect so let's go back and uh, here let's type hover and when we hover over this we'll just type bg and we'll set the color to bg slate 100 and uh, let's set the opacity to 25 and let's also add a smooth transition so let's tap transition and now we can see we have this uh, hover effect Right now let's go ahead and copy this same button and uh, let's paste it for the google sign in button 
so let's copy it and paste it down here and here for the image let's type google and uh, here for the text let's type sign in with google and now we can see we have the sign in button for google and github so it is looking exactly the same so with that we have completed designing the sign in page in the next video we will continue designing the rest of the components of our website so that's it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day